Greg from Cisco. This video will provide you a quick overview of the Cisco Agent Finesse Desktop. Finesse Desktop enables agents to log into the system, receive inbound phone calls, place outbound phone calls, and also accept any type of multi-channel or digital type of interaction. Let's begin. So first up, I require a browser as well as a telephony device. Now, a telephony device could be either a physical phone or a soft phone. And for today's hybrid work requirements, working at home or working inside the business, if you would, you have the ability as an agent to select which telephony device you want to use for your particular telephony agent activities. So as part of the login process, you will be required to enter in an agent ID as well as an extension. So next an option is what we call mobile agent. Mobile agent is the ability for you to simply click on that box when you log in, enter in your 10 digit dialable number like your cell phone or your home number, and those phones can also participate as contact center agents. Now that we've logged in, you now have a single perspective on the Finesse Agent desktop. It's a browser user interface. It's highly customizable and it lends itself to supporting a single desktop for all your application needs as an agent. This includes feature functionality such as Salesforce, ServiceNow, other popular CRMs, or any other type of application, even internal, that is used by the agent. In addition, we can incorporate multi-channel and other digital assets such as SMS, social media, and other things into the contact center. Now, if I could direct your attention to the top horizontal part of the Finesse desktop, we refer to that as the Agent Call Widget. The widget contains command and control for the agents to change his or her phone state in terms of available, not available, or ready, not ready. It also includes the ability for your admins and supervisors to create supplementary codes, such as aux codes, training, breaks, and so forth. Any type of ACD state that requires some type of measurement and reporting. In addition to that, we also have the same types of state capability and control as it pertains to multi-channel. That includes chat, email, and other digital engagement channels that we offer optionally. And finally, on the right-hand side, we also have what's called an agent chat. And that is a chat that enables an agent to message uh, between their peers and or supervisor or both, right? So that's a very useful tool when there's a potential call escalation and to where you would need some assistance from your supervisor or peer or peers as it pertains to solving a customer problem. And finally, on the right-hand side is the uh, telephony uh, button, which allows you to make outbound calls, as well as the ability to log out and log in to Finesse itself, and also to, to identify which telephony extension you're currently logged in as. Also, a nifty little feature are the keyboard shortcuts. They are usually definable by your administrator or supervisor, and they cover shortcuts for when you are on a phone call and when you are not on a phone call. So it is aware based on your ACD and phone state. So the intent here is to provide agents all the features and command and control capabilities needed to place a phone call, take a phone call, take an ACD call. Our intent is really to make all this available in that single pane of glass so as to make your workflow more efficient. And now if we look on the left side of the Finesse desktop, you'll see a bunch of objects, circles if you would, these are typically user configurable. Typically your administrator will allow you to set those up in order to click into specific applications that are native to your workflow. In addition to that, it also presents itself as a launching area for other multi-channel type of engagement. We'll show you a quick chat demonstration here shortly. I will leave my agent as not ready. I will place a test call into Cisco's conversational IVR system, prompted for a couple of questions, then I will escalate the call to a live agent. Thank you for calling Cumulus Finance. Welcome, Greg Burton. My name is Nimbus, and I will be your assistant. How can I help you? Hi, I'd like some more information on your current mortgage rate for 30-year fixed. Our current 30-year rate is 3.875%. Thank you. May I please speak to an expert? Okay. One moment while I connect you with one of our experts. Processed in queue. I'm going to go ahead and change my state to available to take the phone call. Please stay on the line. The next available agent will. 
So the phone ringing was actually my Cisco cell phone. If you saw the bottom right hand corner, a pop-up ensued asking me to accept the phone call. We accepted the call, a few things changed on the HF Finesse desktop. Because we're on an active phone call, my ACD state dynamically changed into a talking state. I also have an additional information on a panel that displays who I am and potentially what other things that are associated with me. All these data points are all configurable uh, based on your particular requirement. In addition to that, because I'm on an active phone call, I have additional telephony controls that are available. Reading from left to right is the keypad, so if I need to depress additional DTMF digits for whatever, probably used for outbound calling primarily, but that's available. Also, I could push the caller on hold, either perform a one-step or two-step or consultative transfer of the phone call. I can also, which is a very important feature here, is already determine my wrap-up code or after-call wrap-up code, if you would, prior to the completion of the call. Now, I could do it there or in another place, typically associated with changing my flow state from uh, after call work to ready or not ready or logging out, whatever the next state would be. But that's all conveniently placed there. Now, either during a phone call or not on a phone call is the actual out-of-the-box statistics for the agent. These are a set of core reports which are configurable by your admin or supervisor and can contain whatever information you'd like also included the number of reports, that's all up to you. They're easily configurable by your admin or supervisor. In this particular example, when I'm on the call, I see a queue statistics panel that gives me a general readout of all the queues that myself as an agent is aligned to. It gives me an idea of what are the calls in queue and who, including myself, who's available to take the call. If not, obviously a supervisor can engage additional resources or change skilling on the fly to accommodate any spikes in call volume. Next is the agent and agent skill group information. You'll also notice that the state of the agent, meaning myself, is based on the actual modality or the, or the channel that I'm currently engaged in. So in a multi-channel environment, I will have states for chat and email and voice and others. So in this particular example, you see that, that the state for my voice channel is different than the other states. So I'm clearly on a voice call, not on the chat call. So certainly visibility appropriate for a supervisor. I'm going to do a quick demonstration of a chat feature for the same agent finesse desktop. And that's really to demonstrate the flexibility of the finesse user experience. I'm here going to call out a fictitious company website, simply click on a chat option, then fill out a basic form of my personal information. Now, in this particular call center system, skills-based routing and queuing is all done exactly the same as voice. So therefore, all the artifacts of the chat, who I am, where I'm on the website, what questions I have, can all be used for skills-based routing considerations. And from a queuing and reporting uh, perspective, it's exactly the same. So conversely, when I look at the finesse agent, their interactions and state changes and command and controls are exactly the same. The only difference is the actual presentation of the chat information itself, as I will demonstrate. So as I completed the chat form request as an end customer, I'm now pivoting over to the actual agent finesse desktop, which I will then transition my state from a chat perspective to ready. So at that point, I will get a screen pop. Again, it's a, a pop of new information. In this case, a new contact being presented to me as an agent. Uh, keep in mind that when I'm working chats and voices and so forth, your administrator and supervisor can throttle and determine, predetermine what channels you are presented with, whether it's voice or chat or both. In this case, I'm presented with a chat from Greg as you'll see here as part of the screen pop, all that information derived from the chat session is now presented to the agent desktop. So at this point, I'm able to do a free single person to single person chat. I also have the ability, again, through your types of configurations and potential customizations, the ability to incorporate predefined answers, uh, backend knowledge bases that can pro uh, 
provide the information to the agents in much quicker context aware fashion and so forth. That completes the basic overview of the Cisco Finesse Agent Desktop. Thank you for your time.